What's going on guys, me from here today I will show you all my broken phone collection So, let's start But first, I'm going to give a shout out to Tony's phone collection He makes awesome phone videos, so you should go check his channel out Links in the description So let's start with some of the broken phone I have a couple, a stack of smartphones which I will cover in the later video But I'll show you some phone first This is a an LG C100 and this one is for um, I don't know where this came from but it works as you can see it was, but it had a problem as you, could, you, will, you will see keyboard light the phone will turn on watch the keyboard it glitched like that it stands like why it's invisible on this thing and not only one of responding other than the like power and that's it yeah so there's pretty much no way to restore this one because I think I think this one is out of passcode that I don't know no um, it doesn't but I don't know I just don't know why it's just the keyboard is not working Next is this piece here. I know this battery does charge, but it's not offering, so not going to even bother keeping. Is not a HTC version. Is a HTC? Is a Hera One Hundred. It's run Windows Mobile Six. Yeah, six. And you can, and here's a code. The phone already reset, so the code might work on some of the phone. Very cool looking slider phone. It took this type of HTC cable, which I have. We are looking. It's like that. You won't see this on many, many bar phone like the Cosmos for Verizon and the intensity for Verizon. These phone only released in the US. Why I'm Vietnam just end up having these. Um, the sliding is really cool, but this one has a problem. Let me open the flash to show you. Uh, the LCD, as you can see, is fully cracked. And this flex cable just broke out, came out of nowhere, and they won't connect anymore. So, yeah, I just need to get that problem out. I will do the smartphone stack later. Here's a Nokia. From I don't know what one is going on. This battery is not original battery. It came with the phones. It came from the 6030, but I just don't have any much batteries to test. So it is a 1661, and this will not problem. I put a SIM card here. And it asks for security code, which I don't have, so unfortunately I couldn't get into the phone. But judging this is a like meter series story Nokia phone, you can actually access to some game without taking the SIM card. Um, my favorite is Natural Park. So yeah, pretty nice. Shut it down. I forgot I'm going to show you some of the other Nokia. This is a Nokia. It should show on the cover. It is a the 12 so a very, very popular one. This one work perfectly fine. No fraud. But the problem is. The battery is out, and I have no way to fix that problem. But since this is like brain white screen, that you can use, actually still using this. And like many people are still using this, this thing. So there's not much of a problem on this one. This, yeah. And now here's an HTC Cha Cha. It should say in the back cover. A A Ten E. And I had, the reason I had a battery out because I'm using a battery for this one. 
And this one, it worked just fine, but part of the touchscreen is not working really like this part. But well, this is it's a minor no problem. It doesn't really affect that much. This is a Samsung Star. Now I have to use the one that broke. It came with this all brand Chinese battery. The battery barely hold a charge. I don't have any uh, official Samsung charger right here. I have a, the charger, I have a charger, but it charged super duper slow. And and the battery of this one does not hold a charge at all. But the phone does still turn on when plug in and touchscreen is not really responsive, so yeah. The next one, not really considered a broken, but this is the, uh, yeah, the back covers. And this is, I have to buy a new okay battery because the battery came with it is exploded. It is the uh, Nagina 3G. There is a normal one without a 3G that looked like a board. That looked like a board. This one just looked like the curve. This is one of these basic media tech phone where this battery died, I think. No, yes, act crazy. Really creepy video here. And I have to admit, I have to res like reskin on this one because I really hate that thing. I just love my current wallpaper. <clears throat> Sorry. These strike packs not working, but you can navigate to the menu using these uh, volume rocker for some reason. And This the, this one actually has the same lock. The same one is locked to Vina phones. No, Movi phone. Sorry. So one of the basic media tech phone. So the earlier one actually, because the later one has a had really annoying um, low battery shutdown sound. Yeah, this is the right one. Anyway, I might need to shut this down because I don't really like. Oh, yeah. Also, this these camera is broken. And next we have is this one. Sony Ericsson W eight hundred I. I think this one came from um, what's it? Singular, I think. Uh, yeah, the battery's dead. The other hand, I have a charger for it somewhere. And but what's the problem with this one? The contact doesn't really charge charge the battery because I don't have a back cover for it, and the camera is malfunctioned. The phone works, however. It still takes like Vina phone, Viettel SIM card and stuff. This is in one D two sixty thirty that I have. This one, the battery, as you can see, is extremely bulge. It's not came from my original Nokia battery, it came from the other phone. And yeah, this one has a problem with the backlight, which I will demonstrate to you. And the phone is coming apart, there's crack and stuff. Don't know you can see it, but I have to um, remove uh, this, and it could probably broke the housing thing or something. And well, you are greeted with that thing. It say seem not registered. The back leg of this one is shot. So yeah, there's no way to fix it because. Yeah, it's ending up 
using it. Uh, but still a nice, nice looking phone. I have another one that's in the perfect condition, and that one is fully function. This one just in much, much worse condition. Got it. Still need this battery for all the phone. Sorry, I have a sore throat a bit. Here it is a fake Alcatel phone. I mean fake. I mean this. This is a TCL. No battery. I lost it. it. Is a 217D piece of crap phone. It does not work. The I drop in water many many times and it's frozen around the phone and. It needed brain and it never going to be working again and, and yeah this is a piece of crap phone it is not an Alcatel just a media tech phone ha with an Alcatel housing here's a Blackberry for Vodafone so this is a Pro 7100V it's for Vodafone I don't have any Vodafone SIM card laying around but what problem is Noise of crack, the battery contact is destroyed, and when I plug it in, literally nothing happened. Nothing. I repeat, nothing. So I think this phone need a new battery contact, or it need a, it need to be completely restored. Right back to where it was. <coughs> Here's a T-Mobile BlackBerry, very really old one. And uh, this one only is car it's falling apart day by day, like the Blackberry, but it actually did show some sign of life. But there's new problem. See that? No idea what happened. They s I look online on this problem and they say just flash it, but my computer just doesn't um, want to recognize that Blackberry. So. Unfortunately, this BlackBerry is not going to function ever again. Yeah. And one time it showed device error 365, which turned out to be the phone is completely bricked. There's no way to fix that. And the battery came with it, it was super bored, so I just gave it. So I had to just to take the battery out of this thing and put it on here. Checking out for safety. Mm. Get my iPhone. Next is my Samsung. This Samsung. Got my iPhone here just in case I need. It is the GTE Tele TT and it is from Power Track Phone Straight Talk, but it read Vietnam Vietnam SIM card. One of these phones that's made in Vietnam. <sighs> this phone, phone, phone had a very. I have to say this one. This one had a bad story. Came in across it last month when I was trying to attempt to turn the phone on. The phone, the phone. Whenever I go up to the menu, the phone froze. And then for some reason, soon I drop it. Um, and I know I didn't drop it. I think. Thing. The phone is completely dead before I even drop it, so I just ended up taking this apart today, clean out some rusty, but it's still a problem and it's still not working. So the phone's fully dead. So yeah, I plug it in and the same thing happens. So it's probably an internal problem. Here's the Nokia X2. Now the battery cover, I'm seeing that here, but I didn't feel like taking it out. The LCD is demolished. That's the only problem. Even if you get a new LCD, the phone will function ever. It will be fully functional. And I have to, to take the battery out of the LG to show the other phone. Can this even turn off? Got it. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the Samsung. It says the model number here is GTC3510. I don't have a battery for it, but it took the this LG battery for some reason. Yeah, it's not fit, but it will work. 
and same problem with the Samsung's star except there's one new problem and then I'm, I am on the home screen this half here doesn't work but the top half does for some reason yeah and this phone is in silence so I couldn't really do anything with it so yeah I just need to get buy a new LCD for this thing and then the phone will be functioning again now these four phone I couldn't test these four phone because they I don't have a battery or charger or the right one for each of them I'm gonna start with the semen first because these are the phone that I've been clutching for a very long time this one particular I got this one from my uncle oh yeah for the mention got this one from my um, um, aunt my grandma sister got this one from my grandpa's sister this one is from this I'm gonna pick out on the Namding um, Namding I picked this one up on the Namding road this is my uncle's phone and my grandpa's sister's phone she gave me three phones there's these two and the other one is this one this one came from someone my what I that work with this one came from my grandpa this one is from one of my uncle my cousin who gave me this one this one and that's Nokia 6030 which is no longer here it broke like on my face this Sony Ericsson came with a lot of this or uh, came from my um, grand, grand, grandma's sister, the other sister, who gave me this one, one free phone, this one, this Nokia N79, which is fully functional, and that Chinese phone that doesn't work. This one came in a lot of free phone, that is this one, this one, and this one, all came from my uncle. This one is fine on the road. This one came from the cows on my uh, aunt. Uh, no, I'm the one that my mom worked with. No, this one's from my um, my aunt, other aunt. This one actually came from my, the one that my mom worked with. Came with a 520, 520, that Chinese iPhone, and the 2626. And all these three broke. The 2626 um, just had a passcode. The Lumia 520 had a broken touch, and the iPhone just in pieces. This Samsung came came in a lot of two phones. That's this one, and another one of these. Uh, it's not the same one, but is essentially the same model. But I broke that one and just buy a new one. One. One that one had a bad backlight and the LCD is bad and had a passcode. This is my dad's old phone and it's my first ever phone. If the camera is uh, found this one on the road and yeah, yeah, this one it does show sign of life, but I'm try putting a SIM card and buy a new battery for this. The C45 here's an A75 which came from Aptia Wireless. No, they have, that is a genuine carrier on Vietnam or not, but yeah, need new battery. I try using the method of that thing, whatever that thing called, and it works. It turn on, but it, I actually need three battery and only have two. Six. This is a Nokia. <coughs> sorry. Six six ten. Tony phone collection have a similar one except it is CDMA. This one is um, GSM and it's from Vietnam. And this one does 
show sign of life when I first got it, but I'm I don't have a, a good ch a genuine charger un charger for this thing. The charger that I got was came in this. It's the same problem came from the Samsung phone and the Bigfoot Nokia battery. Which this one only this one suffer because the other one the Nokia that have have this battery in my collection it used to be a 5C and be a 5C used to charge using the smaller one which I have. Yeah. Now when I try to plug it in, it turn on it just flickering the screen and one time when try when I try to plug it in it say contact service and that is a genuinely big problem for a phone like that. Now the last one is on this list is LG HD156. This one function works is a CDMA phone. It took SIM card, so it's one of these HD mobiles like just like track phone in Vietnam. Now the problem is the charging port. You may see if this thing even focus. It's mess up. The screen is fine, both screen fine. It it did turn on, but I just need a new charging port, and I don't know if this battery work, but yeah, I haven't heard any of these battery in Vietnam. If that's really the phone this rare, but yeah, that's all I'll do with my broken phone collection. But we are not done yet. These are smartphones that have problem. This is my brother's 530. I think it's from at and I don't know. That power button just broke today. The screen's crack, and this one is um, Microsoft Office um, Microsoft account lock, just like Google Lock and iCloud lock. Call Prime, this one is Google Lock, and the board I and I, I dropping water purposely. This is a Grand Prime. My mom's old phone. This one is from my cousin who gave me um, these phone. And this one, it works. Just need a new screen and new battery. It's showing that. These are the the A series. This is a J3. I have a J1 Kaito Joker, which is given to my cousin, and he kept it as a MP3 player, and it's and up giving me this broken phone. This one is broken. These phone, they both work, but I need a new screen for these two. No, this one. Um, this one came from my aunt, who gave me this one as well. And this one came from my cousin. It's a A5. And I don't know if this work or not. I don't have a USB Type C battery charger because we are so cheap that we only afford like Huawei phone and iPhone but yeah might get me with this battery soon because I don't want my to blow my apartment up here's a note free now for at and I think this one suffered the same problem with this one just these two drop in water and the screens die Last but not least is this piece of crap I need one's running MediaTek part called the Mega phone, Samsung Galaxy Mega. The phone finally died today. I have to say because the reason the phone sucks, the board sucks. I look online, the phone is piece of crap MediaTek phone. So yeah, we are done with these um, broken phone collection. So yeah, once again, shout out to Tony's phone collection. He made good content and yeah thank you for watching comment like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video